Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT, police are looking for suspects this morning after a stabbing that has sent two people to the hospital in Lexington. We'll have a look at the latest developments coming up in a Crime Tracker report. And we are learning more about a man charged with a murder in Lexington. We've got the latest on this. Also this morning, Lexington police still looking for a man who robbed a Lexington restaurant. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Well, hello there. Good morning and welcome. It's good to have you with us on this Monday, the last one of 2014. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Make it count. That's, That's all right. I got to say. <laughs> the uh, year is winding down. Yeah. Lots of folks making their resolutions mm -hmm. and all of that. What we can't control, of course, is the weather. And it's going to be colder, it looks like, the next couple of days. Yeah, printing a whole lot colder, guys. Daytime highs will hover right around the freezing mark as we start the brand new year. We look outside right now with the fender. We've got the cloud cover thrown on there as well, and there's plenty of that showing up. Showers out in eastern parts of Kentucky, even a few flakes of snow down to our south as well, starting to uh, dot the skies there for you. We have forecast for you today. Showers are going to mainly hang out in eastern parts of Kentucky, and again, by noontime, the same kind of location. And then we only get up to around 38 degrees for a daytime high, but I do think we'll see a little more sunshine once we get into the afternoon and evening, at least here in Lexington, with a few more flakes of snow and rain possible for the folks out in southern and eastern parts of Kentucky. We'll track that a little more up close and personal coming up for you here in just a few minutes. Okay, we'll see you then, and here's the latest from WKYT. This morning, Lexington police are still looking for suspects involved in a stabbing. Police tell us two people were taken to the hospital after it. the thing happened last night. It happened on Martha Court. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live from the scene of the stabbing. Hillary, what new what information do you have for us? Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Two people are recovering this morning after police say they were stabbed inside an apartment here on Martha Court. Now, Lexington police say they were called to the apartment complex, which is just off of Eastland Parkway sometime after 10 on Sunday night. Lexington police say three people were inside an apartment having an argument. They say the suspect then stabbed the other two people before running away. Now, police are still looking for that suspect and describe him as a white man standing five foot nine, last seen wearing jeans and a black jacket. And they also say he does have a mustache. Reporting live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. We're learning new information this morning about the arrest of a man charged with the Lexington murder. 23-year-old Iron Smith is in the is the third person now to be charged in the death of Walter Durrell Gray back in November. WKYT's Mark Barber is live from District Court with the latest update and new information on this. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Bill and Rebecca. Yeah, Bill, as you just mentioned, 23-year-old Aaron Smith is now the third man who is facing charges in connection to the murder of 31-year-old Walter Durrell. Gray. Now, Gray was shot and killed back in November. Devin Jones and Terrico Williams are also charged with murder in connection to his death. Police tell us they finally arrested Smith on Saturday after they, see he, after they say he tried running during a traffic stop. Now, UK police say they tried to stop him on South Upper Street when he was driving without his headlights on. But officers tell us he took off at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. According to an arrest citation, Smith took off on foot at Nicholasville Road and Alumni Drive. They say when he was arrested, they found a loaded handgun on his ankle and marijuana in his pocket. Police tell us they also found prescription medication, an open container of liquor, and marijuana in the car. Now, Smith will be arraigned today on a long list of charges. In addition to murder, he is also charged with wanton endangerment, fleeing or evading police, and DUI. Now, we actually interviewed Smith last year after another Lexington shooting. Coming up on WKYT at 5:30, we'll explain why he called police in that case. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, thanks so much, Mark. London police issued a golden alert for a man last seen in London. They say Kenneth Green called family from a Speedway gas station on Friday, letting them know he was almost out of gas. That's the last time family heard from him. They think he spent the night in the car of the parking lot at, of the gas station and then just took off. Police say he suffers from schizophrenia, is bipolar, and can become violent. Officers tell us Green is driving a white 1999 Oldsmobile 88 with Tennessee license plate number R7241E.
The Fayette County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help in tracking down a wanted man this morning. Deputies tried to serve an EPO to Jamal Carey Robinson on Sunday afternoon. We're told that Robinson tried to hit one of the deputies with his car. He was driving a 2014 dark blue Chevrolet Camaro with the Indiana license plate. They're calling that one 368 BPD. Robinson is described as 5 feet 8, weighs about 160 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Lexington police are trying to track down a masked man. They say robbed a Subway restaurant. Police tell us around 11 o'clock Sunday morning, a masked man walked into the Subway on Waller Avenue. Said he had a weapon and demanded cash. He then walked out the back door of the restaurant. Police say they do not have a clear description of the suspect other than that he was wearing all black. In Mercer County, Harrodsburg police looking for two women accused of walking out of a Walmart with a TV. Officers say these women left the store with a 40-inch Sony TV valued at around $380. The women then loaded the TV into a truck and left. Very clear picture of them there. Sony says its popular PlayStation gaming system is back online after a three-day outage following a hack attack. The disruptions began on Christmas Day. A group of hackers called Lizard Squad took credit for the hack. Sony's vice president said via a blog post Saturday night that the hackers artificially created high levels of traffic to upset connectivity. Microsoft's Xbox Live service also went down Thursday but was back online the next day. The company said they still had issues, though, over the weekend. State police say mild weather is to thank for a drop in deadly crashes this year. So far, troopers report the number of deaths on the roads has decreased in 2014. According to Kentucky State Police, only 631 people have died on the roads this year. That's compared to 638 last year, 752 back in 2010. The weather's been mild most of this holiday season, but one police officer in Hazard says he sees a pattern. When the weather takes a turn for the worse, uh, the majority of what we see whenever the weather gets bad is it seems like people just forget how to drive. They they keep speeding. They don't want to slow down. Officers say the most important thing to remember when driving during the holidays is to slow down when the weather turns bad. Crews saw flames shooting from a home. Firefighters in Jackson County say a Saturday night fire destroyed a mobile home. We're told the homeowners were out getting medicine for their child when the fire started. Crews say they had a tough time putting out the fire. We're not locating near any hydrant, so we had to truck our water into it. So that, that always presents a problem when you have to truck water into it. Well, the Pond Creek Volunteer Firefighters worked another fire a few hours later. They say a camper sitting next to a home caught fire. In southern Kentucky, a state lawmaker is preparing legislation right now that would close a city-owned gas station to the public. State Senator Chris Girdler says Somerset City Hall intruded into the free market by going into the retail gas business. The proposal comes months after the gas station opened up. Somerset Mayor Eddie Girdler, who apparently is a distant relative, says the proposal is an overreaction. He says feedback from customers has been overwhelmingly positive.